Well, now I want to turn uh, to uh, Bill Davis, who is building the Sylvan scale model of a boxcar in both HO and O scale. And Bill and I talked about this the other night. I said, you know, I really appreciate you doing this because Bill's primarily an O scaler, uh, but showing people the difference between the two scales, I really think is important. And Bill, I really do appreciate you uh, doing this for us. So I'll turn it over to you, sir. All right, well, thanks, Jim. Okay, let's hit that. Let's hit that. Well, maybe not. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, and let's hit this. I need to get the full screen. Let's see. Do I get the full screen here? Uh, okay, let me get the full screen. Where's the full screen button here? Click on click on bottom slideshow. Left. Or the bottom left, bottom left. The, oh, okay. oh, the one that looks like a screen. Just the one that looks right like a that, screen. Bill. Ah, there so, we go. Third, yeah. Okay. I don't know why I got a bar up there, but anyway. Uh, okay, so uh, we're building this boxcar. I found another picture of it uh, in O scale and HO scale. So I'll start off working with the detailing of the O scale version. We're going to talk about doors, grab irons, tack boards, in details, and the underframe. So in installing the doors, they said to put 80,000 styrene as a backup for the door just to give it a, a little more support. Um, I didn't have any 80,000 styrene, but I did have some 40,000 strips. And so I did that uh, with the strips. And then I found that the doors I thought were a little thick. And so I sanded them down to be a thinner profile. And I added here, uh, chooch uh, door, door glides, the bottom. Um, for the grab irons, um, there were none provided in the kit and the O scale one. They were provided in the HO one, but not the O scale. And so I, I made this little this little jig, and each one of these holes is different size um, uh, grab irons. Uh, it's basically just a piece of uh, twenty thousandths uh, evergreen uh, 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 scribe siding. Uh, I used uh, fifteen thousandths wire. Uh, that scales out to be three quarter of an inch in O scale, which I think is uh, more correct size. I know from when I worked on the caboose that uh, that was about the size of the grab irons and stuff like this. So uh, a few years ago, I, I helped build a uh, restore a prototype caboose. Uh, the, uh, you got to be careful drilling these things. I, I won't tell you. Uh, I didn't do too bad in the O scale car, but uh, we won't discuss the drill bits that uh, died. <laughs> And trying to get the piece of drill bit out of the car was, was a real experience, but I managed to pull it off. Okay, so this is the tack board. Uh, this is the way it comes with the kit, but I felt it needed some extra details. So I added these uh, nutbolt washer casters from Grantline. These are number 99 nutbolt washer castings, and they're pretty small. Uh, so now this is the box car, and I found that the um, these are, are titchy uh, rivets. I found that this pattern was incorrect on the car. So I had to uh, drill them out and I added these titchy rivets. Plus I thought it looked a lot better with the, with the titchy rivets in it than the, uh, the dimples that they had on the car. Uh, you can see how I added the, uh, the tack board, got your grab irons. And so this end is pretty well detailed for right now. What am I doing here? Now, this is the underframe. <clears throat> now they provided a, last time we talked about, I added these uh, coupler uh, supports and I was going for the more prototype design than using like a KD box or something like this. We added um, these uh, coupler, um, I mean, these truck bolsters, which come from um, Protocraft, which makes them really easy to install trucks. Now putting this uh, 32 thousands wire, where's my mouse? Uh, through here 
involved a little trickery. And what I actually ended up doing is I cut the wire right here and installed this side. And then I came over here and installed that side and carefully made them glued together. So they formed one. <clears throat> then I made this, uh, this bracket came with the kit for uh, this brake cylinder. Uh, this board came with a kit, but I felt it was too thick. So I used the thinner board from my scrap uh, styrene collection. And over here to support, where's my mouse? Over here to support the, um, to support the uh, air tank of the AB system, uh, I made brackets. These brackets consisted of uh, 20 thousandths, I think more like 15 thousandths by uh, quarter inch uh, st uh, styrene. And then the top, there's a, little, there's a little angle piece on top up here, which is uh, like a 10 thousandths by uh, 40 thousandths piece. So that pretty much brings us up to where we're at on the uh, boxcar, except for installing the floor. Um, what I discovered in installing the floor is that this area here was too thick. And so the floor wouldn't fit. <clears throat> so my options were to sand the floor down on each end, but I would lose this corner detail of these uh, braces. So I decided instead to take my Dremel tool and cut out the um, thickness here. And then using a uh, chisel blade and a couple other uh, X-Acto knife blades and stuff, I was able to clean us all off here and make this thin enough so the floor will fit in. Now I'm gonna go back later on and add a little filler in this area here on both ends so that it will be correctly and filled in properly. Um, now, this here is the um, drawer glides. Um, they came out really easy to do on the O scale model. We'll talk about the H01 in a few minutes, uh, but that's pretty much where we're at on the O scale model at this time. Actually, this is what the completed side looks like at this point. <clears throat> I will be adding the next, next time we get together, I'll be adding the brake rigging, the end, uh, brake wheel system and the roof walk and the ladders, which have to be built up in O scale uh, to this model to, to complete it and get it ready for painting. Now building the HO body, we're gonna talk about the underframe, the grab irons, the doors and track, the ends and roof walk and the sides. Now on this floor, <clears throat> They provided uh, this green uh, soft wire that uh, was talked about earlier. And I did the same thing here. I, I put this piece of wire in from here and I drilled through these uh, brackets here. Uh, this was already drilled through. I just had to clean it, but I drilled through here with uh, a number 20. This is about 20 thousands wire. So I drilled through here with uh, a number 75 drill bit and kind of just kind of honed it out. So it's a little bit bigger. Uh, and then this here, I'm putting the K-brake system on this car. So these two brackets support the K-brakes. Uh, there's less to do under this car as far as the K-brakes are concerned than there was on the uh, O-scale car. Um, I forgot to mention here that they, uh, this piece right here, across here and across here, were castings. Uh, and I added those there, same on the O-scale car. And on each one of the four corners here, uh, I mean, the, on the, each side of the, of the bolster here, are these plates were also added. Now, in reading the article on the uh, this car, uh, in the uh, uh, in the uh, uh, RMC article on essential freight cars, they talked about jacking pads. So I added a little piece of styrene in here, rounded the corners, and made a jacking pad. Don't know if it's the right design. Don't know that, but it's a jacking pad. And also, I added the KD coupler pockets on both ends. And that pretty much brought the, the ender frame of this car to the point ready to do some uh, plumbing. Now, these are the grab arms that are provided in the kit, uh, <laughs> like uh, number 78 drill bits. And uh, let's put it this way, my collection of 78 drill bits are down to one now. Uh, and, and digging them out was pretty hard. In a couple of cases, I couldn't dig them out. And so I simply glued the, uh, into the grab iron, 
to the uh, end of the drill bit <laughs> with CA and hoping it sticks. You can hear, you can have a better view here. Here's the jacking pad over here. that sticks out just a little bit beyond the side that they use to jack the cars up, take the trucks off from underneath them. Now, <clears throat> this is the, um, this here is the door track that was provided with the kit. And um, as you can see, I didn't do very well with carving out the, uh, the piece from the uh, flash. Uh, this is very, very fragile and very, very uh, difficult to do. Uh, my, my buddy Murph, I uh, was over at his house and he gave me some uh, 10 thousands by, uh, I need to be thinner than that, HO one by four uh, and some HO four by four. And so I cut the one by four to length and I cut these little blocks out of four by four and glued that together. And that made my, my door track. Uh, didn't have this problem in O scale, but I had this problem in HO. And I did, I did find it difficult at times to work with some of the really small pieces. It's just not what I'm used to. And cutting pieces out that way is a little bit different, difficult uh, when you're not used to working with those size pieces. So this is the door and this is the, the, the track assembled and installed. And I didn't carve this door down. I didn't feel it was too thick, but this is the door installed with the track installed. And so this area is pretty much finished. Now on the O scale model, uh, some of these cars had a, a, a little metal strip that went across right here. And that was to keep the door from, this when it was a wooden door from going in behind here and, and hitting these, these uh, braces here. So I didn't put that on this particular car because I had the steel door. I did it on the O scale car because I figured it was a converted car from wood door to steel door. Uh, <clears throat> I went ahead and used the kit roof walk on the HO model. Uh, it was pretty easy to do. I did do some repairs though to some of the roof walk uh, supports. Uh, basically did that with the uh, ACCing a piece of uh, uh, very small styrene there and then send him to the proper shape. Uh, this is the completed end. Uh, these little guys here, um, I needed four for the model. I made about 11 because <laughs> either they did, they flew away and I never found them again or they just didn't work out or I cut them too short, too long, to this, to that. And I finally got them all, all on there. Uh, I didn't have any knuckle washers small enough to put uh, that detail on the HO car. I do have uh, Archer rivets, and I may try doing that on it. Uh, this car did have correct uh, location of the rivets on the end of, of the end here, so I didn't have to do with it, to it what I did with the O-scale car. And this is the completed side. Uh, <clears throat> everything in here is, is ready to go. Uh, I will be adding Titchy ladders over here because they have correct ladders available from Titchy in HO, but not in O scale. Um, and uh, so anyway, that, that pretty much just finishes where we're at this car at this time. Um, I did find it's quite a bit of difference in dealing with the HO scale as the O scale. Um, there are things that I wouldn't have considered putting on the HO car because they're just too small, but, and, the detail level maybe is not required, but I had to do that with the O-scale car. Uh, next time we'll uh, finish the brake rigging on these cars. We will uh, add whatever other details need to be added, like the ladders and things, and get it ready for painting. Any questions? Bill, thank you so much. You've done a fantastic job. That, that really looks like a beautiful model. And I, I, again, thank you so much for doing it in both of the scales.